Jason Allen here from Plate Software. Today I'm going to show you how to synchronize your Plate Manager audio files to play it live using SyncThing. So Plate Manager, or equally the remote management server built into Plate Live, is used to provide data to other Plate Live instances. So data such as tracks, track groups, and the playout log can be synchronized between the server and Play It Live. The data is managed once in Play It Manager and then propagated to each Play It Live instance. However, Play It Manager does not take care of synchronizing the actual audio files. One way of achieving this is to create a shared folder on the Play It Manager machine for the audio store which is where the audio files are uploaded to. And then Play It Live instances can access this using a UNC network path. However, this method becomes difficult to manage if the network connection is not reliable or you are trying to access these files from outside a local area network. This problem can be resolved by synchronizing the audio files to each Play It Live machine so the files are physically stored on that machine. So I'm going to show you how to set this up using a tool called SyncThing. So to start off with, we've got Play It Manager installed on this machine. And we've got Play It Live installed on another machine. And Play It Live is already connected to Play It Manager using file and sync with a remote server. But as you can see, there are no tracks on the right hand side. So we need to add some tracks to Play It Manager. So we can do this by going to Tracks and Add New Tracks, and then click in the box to select the tracks, select them and hit Open, and then click Upload. This will upload the tracks to Play It Manager and store them in the Audio Store folder, which we're going to need to synchronize with the Play It Live machine. So as you can see, those files have now uploaded and appear in the track list. If we take a quick look on the Play It Live machine, you can see that those tracks now appear on the right hand side. But if I try and drag and drop, you'll see that it cannot access Program Files Manager Audio Store and the ID of the track. So we're going to need to synchronize these files to the Play It Live machine. So on the Play It Live machine, I'm going to install SyncThing. So you can download this from SyncThing.net. And then you want to download the Windows native GUI called SyncTracer. So you click on here and You'll be presented with uh, some assets to download. You're looking for the Sync Tracer Setup EXE, and you'll need to download the one that's correct for your operating system. So x64 here means 64 bit, x86 means 32 bit. Now, if you don't know which one you have, you can press Windows Pause to bring up the system window, or if you don't have a pause button, type Windows R to bring up the run window, and type in Control slash name space Microsoft dot system. So bring up the system window and you can see here under system type that this is a 64 bit operating system. So I'll select Sync Tracer Setup X64. So click the download to install and then run through the setup. and click Finish to launch Sync Tracer. So the first thing this will do will start SyncThing and it will prompt you to allow access to SyncThing through the firewall. So click Allow Access. So now SyncThing is up and running. Click on Actions and Show ID. And then you want to take note of this ID I recommend probably just emailing this to yourself because you need to pick it up on the Play It Manager machine to sync 
the audio store folder. So back on the Plev Manager machine, I need to also install SyncThing on this machine. So I'm going to go off to SyncThing.net, download SyncTracer, and fire it up on the Plev Manager machine. So we're installed on the Plev Manager machine. Again, we need to allow access. So once SyncThing is installed on the Plev Manager machine, we need to add a remote device to the Plev Live machine. You can do this by clicking on Add Remote Device and then paste in the device ID that you took note of earlier. And then give this device a name. So this is Play It Live. And click Save. You see, this is now added Play It Live as a remote device. We then need to share the Play it Manager audio store folder to make this available to the Play it Live machine. Click Add Folder and give this folder a name. So we'll give it, call this Audio Store. And then we want to change the folder path to be the audio store in the Play Manager program data folder. And then we want to click on sharing and select Play It Live and hit save. So we'll then scan the audio store for files. And we'll see that there are the 257 files in that folder. So we now need to add this device to the Play It Live machine. This ensures that only those two devices know about each other can share reciprocal IDs. So you can get this ID by going to Actions and Show ID and take note of this ID and send it back to the Play It Live machine. So on the Play It Live machine, again, go to Remote Devices, Add Remote Device, and paste in the new ID and then give this device name Play It Manager. And click Save. So once you've added that machine, just give it a moment and it will pop up saying Play It Manager wants to share a folder audio store. Add new folder, hit Add. You'll then be prompted for a folder path on the Play It Live machine. This path needs to be the same for every Play It Live instance you have. So I'm gonna call this C Drive Play It Manager Audio Store. I'm gonna press save. So once you've added that folder, it'll begin synchronizing the audio from the Play It Manager machine to the Play It Live machine. And you can see that state is saying, Thinking 0% of 923 megabytes. So while that's synchronizing, we need to go to the Plaid Manager instance and set up a track path substitution so we can translate the audio store folder on the Plaid Manager machine to the synced folder on the Plaid Live machine. So in Plaid Manager, you can go to settings and then we need to translate. C drive program data play it manager audio store to C drive play it manager audio store. So this path on the left hand side is the path on the server and this one is the synced path on the play it live machine. And I can click save and that will become available on the play it live machine. So now those files have been synced over to the Play It Live machine. I can now go to Play It Live and I can drag and drop any file from Play It Live into the log and this now becomes available to play. So if we take a quick look at the folder where these files are synced to. You'll see all these files are available in this folder. So when new audio is uploaded to Play it Manager, it will also be synced to the Play it Live machines that you have set up in this way. There may be a very slight delay between synchronizing the files from Play it Manager to Play it Live, so just to make you aware of this.
So with Sync Tracer installed, you can now synchronize your Playit Manager audio with Playit Live. Sync Tracer will automatically start whenever you log in to Windows. So when you're logged in with Playit Manager running and Playit Live running, the synchronization will automatically happen. If you like this video, please click like below, or if you want more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. I've been Jason Allen from Playit Software.